Hello, friends. We are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. It is our first. Who who is ringing me up? Anyways, it is our first, or it's my first, um, week back to work. Like full week back to work. Last week, um, I came in from Florida, and so I only worked three days last week, and so. We're back, like we're, we're, we're in our full throttle moment. And so I am gonna be bringing y'all along with me for this week. Um, and I'm about to actually make some lunch, y'all. My camera was literally dead this morning. So I wasn't even able to like sit down with y'all, give y'all the daily rundown. Um, and so I've already did like a strategic work block um, for my CEO day. And I took care of vision casting, strategic planning and all of those things. Um, and so now I just came back from a prayer walk with Autumn just because this morning I also woke up late. Y'all, I didn't get up to you. I was supposed to get up at 730. I didn't get up to you like 830 and I was supposed to be starting work at nine. So it was just one of those days and it's okay because I've been waking up at 6 a.m. for Leaders Arise. It was just last week was a beginner week, but it was also a um, jam-packed week with like the Leaders Arise series. If you missed that, you missed a move. It was real good. And I feel like it honestly gave us the mm, that we needed for the beginning of this quarter or the beginning or the last 90 days, okay, of this year. And so, yeah, so... I gave myself some grace um, and I took some time um, during my break to like spend time with the Lord and all of those things, which really, really blessed me because, yeah. So I'm about to make some lunch and while I make lunch, I'm a chit chat with y'all about what my weekly intentions are and all of the things. All right, y'all. So for lunch, we are eating Caesar salad. I wish I had some chicken to go with it so that it could fill me up, but it's okay because this is going to do. Um, I don't sit, please. So this week um, is a pretty hectic week. I mean, even getting back to business, it's like we have a lot of upcoming things. Um, and so we are going to be very busy even in my business. And so work is going to be pretty hectic and all of the things. Um, but this week, my top three um, is cooking, which I know I'm not a chef, but I do want to start like cooking more and different things like that. Cause I feel like one, we eat out a lot. The whole month of September, like I was just eating out a whole lot and different things like that. So I do want to cook more. I do want to also learn how to just cook some things um, just because I feel like a lot of my days consist of like working and different things like that. And so I, I do definitely want to, you know, make time for cooking and all of the things. Um, and so, yeah. Um, and then what else? Um, also, this week is focus or priority is product development and then content. So I need to film and edit vlogs. Um, I wrote down that I want to do less of overpiling um, my plate because last week I just realized like, you know, yes, I have a lot to do, but sometimes it's not feasible or realistic, especially in my work days. Um, for those who do not know, like I manage a team of interns on top of um, the operations, daily operations of my business, admin. Basically, like I do a lot in my business from admin to operations to marketing, like all of the things. Um, and so did I add seasoning last time? Y'all, I never know that Caesar salad come with a little seasoning, a little salt and pepper. I think that's what that is. Um, but yeah, so I do a lot. Um, and so I just have been wanting to just make sure that I'm not like being overstimulated and different things like that. But like I'm setting time, you know, to make sure I'm not multitasking or any of the things, um, because I don't know for those who are out there. And I, I know, like, especially a lot of those in my community, um, we are multi-passionate, we are multifaceted. Um, and so a lot of the times what I have found is that being like, multifaceted meaning you cater to and you show up to serve in different areas and in different ways sometimes you struggle real bad with multitasking and for so long y'all I convinced myself 
that I was a multitasker and I was, I could, you know, d handle like multiple tasks at once and different things like that. Like I could listen to you, conversate with you while editing a vlog and different things like that. And I realized like the reason I was feeling overstimulated and anxious was because I was trying to multitask. And so I just been really trying to like break that cycle, break that habit altogether because I, I just can't, I can't afford to, like, I want to give my best self and, and perform excellent, um, in everything that I do. And so in order to do that, I have to make sure that I'm implementing boundaries, um, and all of those things. Um, and so, yeah, so basically I want to do more of focusing, being present and doing things to clear my mind. And then I also want to feel productive, balanced and carefree this week. Um, my weekly target. So for those who do not know, I do quarterly plan. Um, I will make sure I put the description of the intentional living planner in this description of this video as well. But basically I use, um, what is called an intentional planner to plan out my life. Basically this planner I created for visionaries who are balancing multiple things. Um, and just want to live like an intentional and purposeful life. Um, and so basically this quarter, my quarter targets, because we choose three targets or three focus areas that we want for each month. So this quarter, um, I want to break the cycle of multitasking, take care of my physical health and take care of my home. And so this weekly target is to read Atomic Habits. Um, I'm going to try to read seven chapters in seven days. So that's one chapter a day. Um, and then number two is go back to bar class or Pilates. So I'm going to actually do a Pilates class uh, with my friend this week. Um, and then also my marriage day, um, our marriage day. And that's basically where like me and my husband have been um, coming together to just make sure like, you know, we are being intentional with each other and our marriage and, you know, our goals that we have, like, you know, even as a family and different things. So that's pretty much that. And my salad is all finished. Um, and so I'm about to go ahead and eat lunch. I am about to go over the rest of my to-do list um, for today and just review my to-do list for today. Um, so I've already did the CEO day where I did vision planning, sales funnel, and goals. So we can check her off. Check her off. I don't know about y'all, but checking off things off of your to-do list feels so good. Like it's giving dopamine. I have a meeting at 2.30, but I'm about to wrap up lunch and I'm going to do a little bit of Bible study while I eat lunch. Um, and then after I'm finished eating lunch, then I am going to... Hop on my collab hours and so that's something else that I would give a hack or tip to any entrepreneur is to create what is called like collab hours especially if you have like a team because y'all I was literally getting overwhelmed because it's like I already have to focus and do my tasks but then on top of that I have to be responsive and different things like that to the team to make sure that they have everything they need to get done but it's like at the end at the same time if I'm in the middle of a work block I can't stop and respond all the time so what I did was create collab hours where during that time I'm able to answer any questions stuff like that so yeah, so and I also put my emails and just like tasks that don't need complete focus, like to respond to emails, stuff like that, like or don't take forever. So I added, you know, all of that in the collab hours because, yeah, we're not about to be wasting our time on day to day operations. Uh -uh. overstimulated or easily frustrated um just by little things like when it's really something deeper going on and guys I just got off of my Monday meeting and I am on my last my last sprint of the day but it feels good to have gotten everything that I need to get done done so we love to see it clap it up go ahead clap it up um but anyway I 
just got off a team meeting um, and now I am in just pretty much like a uh, what is called my collab hours. Uh, basically, I wanted to go over just some productivity like hacks that I am pretty much testing out this week. So again, I and I think I shared this a little bit earlier. I basically um, am the CEO of my brand, but being a multi passionate um, entrepreneur, I also show up and wear many hats within my business because I have a team of interns. I have uh, three creative assistants right now. I'm looking for, so if this is, if this is you, you could fit this, fit this row, make sure you email me. Um, but basically I'm looking for right now a, um, executive assistant. So a personal executive assistant to assist me, uh, with administrative, um, things. Um, however, I do have three creative assistants. One creative assistant helps with in-house projects. The other creative assistant helps with outhouse projects. And then the swing helps with both. Um, and so, yeah, so basically, but I am the lead outside of being the CEO, I am the lead product development manager. I am the lead marketing manager, um, and different things like that. And that's something that I will say being an entrepreneur, making sure that you put together an organizational chart, um, to basically explain like, what are all the roles that are needed in fulfilling your business? Um, so that, you know, your business can operate as it should. Um, and so, yeah, so some productivity hacks that I am testing out this this week is collab hours. Also, I have been doing um, time blocking with this app called Structured, which y'all, let's clap it up for the developers because this app right here, mm -hmm, it's real good. So like I say all the time, sometimes your checklist or your to-do list needs a to-do list, okay? Um, and so I really love this app because my favorite feature is like, you're able to create time blocks, right? Like that's how they look on your calendar. You could change the format on this um, however you see fit. It has like the time blocks and you could basically create like a time block on here. Um, and it also syncs with your calendar. So whatever I schedule on my calendar, automatically goes on to the day to day time blocking thing. One thing I like about it is I'm able to click the task and I'm able to push focus now and it basically blocks out or carves out my time and it puts me in a focus block where it's telling me how long I have remaining for this task and all of the things which I absolutely love. Um, and then also you can basically edit the task and make it like a checklist and have subtasks. So like break it down for what you need, what you need to do. So for example, my morning routine, I put in like, you know, step one, step two, step three, or whatever the case may be. Um, or if you're going to the grocery store, grocery store, sorry, you could put like your grocery list and all of that stuff in there. So this is, has been really helping with me because I told y'all like, excuse me, I am quitting multitasking. When I said it, I meant it because that's the reason I've been overstimulated just because I wear, again, a lot of hats. Like I'm a wife, I'm a full-time entrepreneur, like I, I'm a coach. I, I do too much, okay? I do too much, but I just can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's what God, that's the capacity that God has given to me. And I, I, I praise him for it, all right? But one thing about it, we're learning and we're navigating how to do it well and how to do it right. So yeah, so this app again is called Structure. So along with collab hours, I've been using this app called Structure. And then something else that I have been implementing is what is called 10 minute breaks um, or just breaks in between time. Another app that you can use is called Flow. Flow is a like palm, pomodoro, daro, y'all get what I'm trying to say, palm daro timer where you work for 60 minutes and then you take a break for 10 minutes. I use that method um, along with that timer sometimes. And so, yeah, y'all, that's what I've been using to be productive. I'll also insert a little, you know, imager image thing to show y'all what the flow app looks like because i also have that as well because we're not playing in this quarter okay we we getting to work we getting in our focus lane and that's all that's it so you said you're going to send me a text text message like a screenshot yeah but, um but yeah but i like being on the medic too so i don't mind but i like being on the internet.
Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, it is officially midweek and so I'm back um, and I'm going to go over the to-do list for today and um, what else? And I'm about to cook breakfast because I need to eat breakfast before I start work. It is officially 8.59. My collab hours is from 9 to 12, so I can kind of like ease into work because all I got to do is, you know, respond to communication channels, emails, Slack, click up, all of the things. Um, and so I'm about to talk about what I got to do today while I make breakfast. Um, so... Pretty much on today's to-do list, excuse me, today is, again, October 11th, which y'all, time is moving really fast, um, but today my top three is to film this vlog, <laughs> um, and then today is also a product development um and marketing work day so i'm going to be writing emails um creating automation funnels um content and an outline for a new product which i'm super excited about um and then also tonight i'm going to be having like a cooking session with richard like a family cooking session for our indian night tonight i think on the last vlog if you haven't seen the la vlog on the last vlog that i just posted i tried Indian food and I tried the butter chicken and it was really good um and so I'm excited to be making that of course Richard is vegan so he's going to be having like the vegan version of it but yeah these are really salty um so yeah, so then after that, my top three, those are my top three. I also um, am going to read one chapter of Atomic Habits, um, and then I also have Bible study for tonight. So it's not too, too, too shabby. Um, I do have one meeting, but that is during my collab hours. So right after this little morning sprint from 9 to 12, I'm going to be free. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much my day. Um, I am going to be bringing y'all along and doing like a midweek check-in of like how I'm doing and all of the things. But to basically kickstart my day um, and just in this season, I've been really heavy on the vitamins. Um, and then also y'all like I have not been getting the best sleep. And so I downloaded this app called Rise and basically like it calculates your sleep data from the last two weeks and it shows you like how much sleep debt you have which means like basically for example if I, last week I didn't go to bed till like one two in the morning and I didn't get up till I mean I had to get up for leaders arise at five and so going into this new week like y'all I felt like a bus hit me like because my body was like trying to catch up on sleep so the app tells you like how much sleep that you have and like basically like what you need to do to catch up. So basically it tells you like what time to go to bed, what time to wake up um, and different things like that. And so, yeah, so I've been following that. Tried it last night because I was like, OK, I was just really tired yesterday and yesterday was Tuesday. I was really tired yesterday. I was really tired Monday. Um, and I was just like, yeah, it's affecting me. Um, I think I'm really starting to appreciate as an adult when parents had consistent bedtime routines and all of the things because it's like your body needs sleep. And if you don't get sleep, honey, you be, you know, you can't focus, you can't be productive, all of the things. So, so yeah, so I've been really trying to work on my sleep routine, also taking all of these vitamins. So, because I can't afford to get sick, okay? So I've been taking vitamin D, but also because the like seasons are changing, so it's getting darker. I've also been taking elderberry, and then I use that like vitamin C around my little temples um, and all of the things. So yeah, because we're we not playing. We're not playing. We're doing what we need to do physically so we can be good, and we also doing what we need to do spiritually so we can be good, okay? Because listen, we taking care of ourselves this last quarter of the year. 
Um, but yeah, y'all. So that's my day. I'm going to bring y'all along and also do the cooking session with y'all, which I'm super excited about. Um, but yeah, y'all. Let's get to it. I don't know if anybody else loves strawberry cream cheese, but I love it. I love it. I've been eating this for breakfast for the last three days. I don't know if it's because it's easy or if I just have a taste for it because I haven't had it in a while. Because I have several options for breakfast. But I'm eating this again for breakfast. Cause that's my business. And we gonna pair this with some fruits. Let's do pineapple since I ate strawberries and grapes already. We gonna roll this up. Bada bing, bada boom. Rinse this out. And get some pineapples. He cut these fine. Okay. I've been feeling like a kid because I use my hands for everything. And, <laughs> and I don't like me trying to use, what's it call it? I don't be trying to use like tongs and stuff like I just feel like that's a waste of my time but anyway let's get to work all right thank you Jesus father we thank you for who you are father we thank you for your mercy and your grace Father, oh God, we just want to come and st first start before we even hop into work, God. We just want to pray over our day, Father. Lord Jesus, we want to, oh God, ask you, oh God, to carry us through, Father, to sustain us, Father, to be our strength. Whew. All right, y'all, so I am about to head downstairs um, to finish out my work block. I really love switching environments because I had to make sure the mic was on. I love switching environments because I feel like it helps me to keep focus and, and, and continue to be productive. So I'm about to go down to the workspace. I started um, my day at my desk in our apartment um, and then I ate lunch and worked at our like countertop area and so now I'm about to come down here where the lighting is a little bit better because the windows are larger and there's a lot more window space so I'm about to come down here and I don't know what it is I feel like also switching like ooh, also I feel like switching height so if I start low start then switch high yeah, I don't know what it is, but it be making me feel like, I don't know, it keeps my brain going. I feel like it's scientifically proven. But yeah, so I'm about to get back to work. All right, guys, call me Chef D. Why he has a camera in the kitchen, I don't know. But we are about to make Indian food. I'm super excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. He already marinated the chicken. This is the chick. This is the tofu. And we're about to get on started. I do need to run to the grocery store, though. So I'm going to take y'all along with me. Yeah, Anyways, so um, but we're about to get started cooking. And I'm going to do a little midweek check-in on how we're doing with it being Wednesday. So yeah. Alright y'all. I really need to get a like 
the car mount but i be feeling like i'm never like the main driver and when i am like okay this is just in the way and when i am i'm barely going anywhere <laughs> especially with working from home but anyways um hopefully y'all can hear me and hopefully the camera don't do too much wobbling but i decided to do my midweek check-in as i go to the grocery store because we need some things that richard forgot from the store um when he went to pick up the groceries from or for the non bread and i'm trying to think now if i should go to the kroger i'm gonna go to the kroger they should have non bread he said non bread to get and there was something else but basically it's been a good week like my eyes are just really heavy and tired like because again catching up on sleep um is it crazy that we've been living downtown for like months now like more than say over six months and i still don't know where everything is yeah yeah um but there's no way it's seven minutes there's no way like dang i missed the light but um yeah like my eyes are just super heavy um and i'm just honestly tired um uh, but other than that like i feel like i've been definitely pressing through um and like getting the things done that i need to get done and i just honestly think that's by the grace of the lord because there is no way i could do that on my own especially just being like exhausted and tired um y'all where is this taking me i think i turned the wrong way so i'm about to turn around and i know this car looking at me like turn right Girl, onto Pike street what are then you doing left onto street east. but we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes so that i don't have to go the long way but yeah y'all so life is going good and i've also just been learning not to allow like one moment like define like how my day is going or how my week is going because at the end of the day like i know that I, i'm learning that like you know of course your physical sleep can like affect you and your productivity and like your just your desires so i'm not trying to allow that to like make me like because it can just like the devil can just manipulate stuff i promise y'all like he could just manipulate stuff into something that is really not like literally like it don't even be that deep like you just need some sleep take a nap it ain't that deep but then like because you're already sleepy like you just be like i'm tired like nothing's working this is just x y and z this is overwhelming me x y and z and in our reality it, it, it's not it, it's not too much you, you just are having a bad moment and that's okay see what i'm saying y'all i need to get a thing Because the butter wasn't melting. Not yet, right? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I am too. Why? Good. Yeah, well, I've had it when I went to LA with. Are you excited? I'm excited. Super. How did you know that? All right, come on, bro. Let's play this game. Why are you laughing? Because. So it don't fall the back. It's different. It doesn't taste like the one that I've made, but maybe it's because we did substitute some stuff. Sometimes you just need to dance it out. Sometimes you just need to praise God in advance. Alrighty, friends. Hello, hello, hello. I am going to do a end of the week check-in it's not end of the week end of the week it's more so like 
end of the work week because I don't work on the weekends but I wanted to give a little update while I go treat myself because it's been a week but we worked through it we endured we pressed we were stretched we had a couple of moments where we cried we broke down but it's okay um so basically this week was really good um even though some moments weren't good it was still good um and i was able to take care of myself read different things like that i learned a lot about myself um in terms of like sleep routine like all of those things hold on y'all okay I, I don't be wanting to vlog on the elevator like while everybody on the elevator so that I ain't just talking and being rude. But anyway, so yeah, like I took time to learn more about myself and just my sleep sleep routine and how just sleep affects you. And I'm telling y'all that at Rise, y'all need to get it. Like this ain't sponsored or nothing. This is something that I'm actually trying and it really helped. Also, let me hop in this car before they try to take my door out. Okay, but also, um again i learned a lot about myself um this was my first full week at work um i ain't gonna lie richard always leaving me on low like why do i always gotta drive around with no gas in the car but anyway um let me put y'all up here at least till while I, while i'm finished getting situated but yeah like this was the first full work week, and so it was definitely a little difficult, but we implemented systems where systems was necessary. Um, Wednesday, I really enjoyed cooking with Richard. Um, and then Thursday, um, I went to my first Pilates class, which that was a really high moment of my day. I did have a couple of breakdown moments with like client calls and stuff like that. I just was like really overwhelmed with the amount of things that is going on with like balancing just multiple different areas of my business. Um, and so again, I show up as like not just the CEO, but the product manager, like marketing manager, all of the things. And so I could just feel like I'm falling behind in certain areas. But again, we give ourselves grace. We take some time to reflect. Um, we take some time to be still, cry, release all the things. And that's honestly what I did. And so yeah like i'm just really proud of myself and so again i am treating myself to cheesecake um one of my good long-term sister girls um it invited me to go um to do some fall shopping and stuff um and so i'm gonna do that i do need some skincare things um and then i'm also gonna get cheesecake reefs because if y'all don't know cheesecake is my favorite place and it's like mini cheesecakes but y'all the way i be tearing them up mm-hmm yeah cheesecakery so yeah i'm going to do that um and then also I'll probably watch a comfort movie like my favorite movie matilda i'll probably do that tonight i do need to edit a youtube video that will be going up before this one i believe it is the uh starting route to the cheese it is the quarterly reset so make sure y'all go watch that um when y'all get a chance but we about to jam, have a whole little jam session in the choir. I'm going to put y'all down, though, because y'all can't go up there no more. Because I'm not, I'm not doing that with y'all. Your hat's still blocking, but it's cute. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are in the snug. We just got home. Where I'm about to put these groceries up. And I'm about to watch a childhood movie and edit the other vlog. But I got some orange chicken and some vegetable rice for Richard more vegetable rice and mac and cheese which i haven't had in a while and i'm gonna eat with the meal next week and then my pancake puffs because yes we just love 
to have them. And then from the street corner or the corner store, I got hot fries and hot chips. I, I was craving all of the hot chips, I guess. And then some Slim Jims because we love beef jerky over here. So that's pretty much my haul. Time to unwind. Ow. What is this? Y'all, my neighbor. Let me tilt this up. Our neighbor was so sweet. She went to Paris. And this little tin is so cute. She went to Paris and she brought back some things. Like, I think one of the things was butter. And then this one was cookies. Like, they're like soft bread cookies. And they are so good. And they smell so good. But this is from Patty. Like, y'all, my goal is to go to Paris. And when I go to Paris, like, I low-key want that to be, like, my, um, not just vacation, but I want that to be, like, a creative, not retreat. I forgot what they call them. Residency, a creative residency. I want to go to Patty or London, one of the two. But, yeah, I don't know if y'all have ever watched the mo or the show, I was gonna say the movie. I don't know if y'all have ever watched the show Emily in Paris, but yeah, that's where it got me wanting to go. Y'all, hello friends. It is officially Sunday. It is the end of the week. Um, and we we just we love to see it. Okay. Um, so today, for those who do not know, I do my weekly resets on Sunday where I just gather my whole life um i don't work on the weekend so i just i'm able to get my mind and my heart and my home and just everything together um and so i created these like weekly weekly checklists um again that says get ready get set reset so um today i need to um, clean just clean up like straighten up just because again the cleaner the environment the better the environment the better you are um, So I'm going to start with that then I'm going to go into some weekly reflection I also have the Bengals game pulled up while I do all of this because one thing about it I love football like I don't know. I just feel like it's the, the sport that I can like Easily follow so I've been following um, So yeah, I got out of the church this morning and I'm about to clean up um, I have my weekly reflection um, and review my brain dump. So I usually have like a brain dump thing that I do every week where like if anything comes to my mind, I could just put it in that folder. Um, and then I'm going to do like a little worship session, catch up on some reading. Um, I also have my skincare for today and then we're going to go into some weekly planning. So I'm going to bring y'all along for today um, just so we can do like you know uh, end of the week wrap up this weekly vlog of just wanting to be more productive and all of those things so yeah y'all let's go just finished mapping out just like my weekly reflection of this week um, and using like the template that I use I just write out my priorities and go over my top three highlights what filled my cup what drained my what drained me and then also like what was an area of my life that lacked or maybe need a little bit more attention um, and then my gratitude for this week and the lessons I learned so to start us off um, my top three highlights from this week was definitely my prayer walks, um, Indian night with my husband and Pilates class. That was really the highlights of my week. Um, and then what filled my cup this week was definitely again, prayer walks, rest, journaling, worship sessions, family time and reading. And then what drained my cup was just overthinking, um, not getting enough sleep and not like having the time to do like my do morning devotions or like devotions to kind of like kickstart my day. Um, and so I would have to like go straight into work. And it was because again, I was making up sleep. So yeah. So it's not like one thing led to the next thing. 
Um, the area that I will say like lacked and maybe need a little bit more focus and attention coming into this new week is just myself and making sure that I'm pouring into myself um, spiritually and mentally, like making sure that my mind is together, making sure that my spirit is um, being encouraged and being poured into so that I can make it through each day. Um, and I will say this last week, the Lord was definitely my sustainer, um, and just like upheld me in those moments that I just felt like really tired and different things like that. But, um, going into this new week, like I really need to lock in with this bedtime routine and yeah, get to bed so I can handle my business in the morning. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, and then this week I was just got it grateful. I'm sorry for just, um, the low moments, the bad moments, those moments where I had to cry out to the Lord for strength. Um, I'm grateful for a new mind and perspective. I'm just really proud of myself because I, and like, I think that's the thing that is really, um, amazing is like you are, you get first row seats to your growth. And so it's like, when I see myself throughout the week and how I'm handling different situations, I'm just proud of myself for processing through my emotions. I'm proud of myself for not allowing negative or faulty thinking to just reside in my brain but no we're gonna call it out so when I begin to say like oh in my mind I'm thinking I'm tired of running my business I'm tired of this I'm tired of that no we rebuke that in the name of Jesus you're just tired because you ain't getting enough sleep last night so don't allow the devil that's my words of wisdom for this moment um, is not to allow the devil y'all be having to check and see if it's on but not allowing the devil to manipulate your feelings or manipulate a bad moment um because he be trying to make something bigger than what it really be um so yeah and then also just grateful for a mind to pray and a prayerful spirit and then just grateful for my husband um and then the lesson that I really learned that was really really good for me and especially because um I am nurturing a community of vision so I feel like this will also be beneficial for you in your life. And that's to stop trying to uh, handle, I'm sorry, stop trying to handle the entire vision and learn to manage the moment. And I think a lot of the times being a visionary, we see the grander vision. We see like, and, and God reveals to us, like, you know, what is going to come to pass and what, you know, maybe our business will turn into, our ministry will turn into and different things like that. And so sometimes we can get overwhelmed with all of the moving pieces and just how big everything is. And we're, we're, we're feeling like, you know, we are incapable of managing it and different things like that. But like, what I'm learning and what God revealed to me is like, you need to allow him to handle the vision and hold the vision and carry the vision. And you need to just focus on this very moment that you are in. So like every single day, like what is God calling me to do in this moment? Like, cause I can't always look at the bigger picture um, and try to like, you know, do what I need to do because it's, again, it's overwhelming. And you just start feeling like, bro, like I, I, it's so many moving pieces. And that's the thing I'm learning about entrepreneurship is like, it's so many moving pieces from my marketing to operations, to admin, to like product development, to all of these different sales, marketing, like all of these moving pieces just for one business. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then when God is given to you something that is bigger and multifaceted, it's just like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so as visionaries, we have to learn how to see the vision, but come back to the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, see the bigger picture, but let's have a starting point and let's focus here. Let's put our focus here. We, of course, in the back of our mind have, you know, the bigger picture as where we're headed. That's the direction we're headed. However, I'm going to leave that to God. You know what I'm saying? He showed me so I wouldn't give up in the moment. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. He shows us the vision so that we don't give up at the present moment. Okay. That is to encourage you. This is where you headed. This is where you going. So you can't give up right now. You can't stop building right now. You got to show up every single day. You have to be consistent. Even when it don't look like the fruit is the apple is on the tree. Even when it don't look like a seed been planted in the ground and it ain't even broke through the soil yet. You have to keep going because here's the vision. Here's where we're going. And that's what God does. He's like, here's where we're going. I need you to hold on. I need you to make good habits. I need you to steward well over where you are right now. Okay. So, yeah, let that be a look mm, that you need because I know this is probably going to be posted on a Sunday. So let this be the mm, that you need to get through your new week. So whatever you are called to do in this season, motherhood, wifehood, 
entrepreneurship, ministry, corporate job, whatever God is calling you to do, manage this moment, manage your moment. How, how well can you manage your moment? Because the Bible says he that sewers over a little, he'll make you ruler over many. That principle, that's a spiritual law. So if you know how to manage your moment, it's only a matter of time until the whole vision come together. And I, I needed that. Okay. Listen, reverse, reverse. I needed that. Play that back for me because that just dirty me up. Happy new week. Happy new week. No, but yeah. So that's that. Um, I'm about to, what is next on my weekly reflection? So I'm about to review my brain dump and what I've basically like put in my notes for this week and make sure that I did all of the things that I put in here. And then we're going to start going into our self-care because what I did was this time is I did things to get ready for the weekly reset, but then I'm going to take a little break and do a little self-care session. And then I'm going to go into the weekly planning because I know weekly planning, I just, you know, it be taking a little minute, which is okay. But I just want to make sure that I'm incorporating catching up on my reading because I've been reading Atomic Habits, which y'all, that book is good. I'm going to talk about my key takeaways a little later, but it's been really blessing me. Um, and then, yeah, I want to do a journaling session and all of the things. So, yeah. Hello, guys. It's me recording a whole clip just for me to realize I didn't have the mic. Anyways, I am winding down for the night. It is officially 7.48 and I'm about to just relax and plan out my week, but hop in the bed and do it because, yeah, I'm getting in the bed early tonight. Um, but as I was saying before, I am Demaya Unique and on this channel, you will find all things intentional living, faith, marriage life, entrepreneur life, all of the things. Basically, just I'm just the girl who is trying to do all of life with God, maximize her potential, be who God called me to be. Um, not just to show y'all that I can do it, but to show y'all that if I can do it, y'all can do it too, okay? So if you want to see more of this type of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Bye.